851, turn right, heading 180. 014 Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established 27. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. The supersonic era may be rejoining us in the near future with Boom Supersonic concluding that 2,000 supersonic aircraft could one day be flying around the globe. In what is an interesting development to say the least, Boom further noted that the aircraft would be used on services in all corners of the globe and on all kinds of flights, whether that be a two-hour flight or a seven-hour one. This bold statement by the Boom Technology CEO indicates to us the potential use of an aircraft like this. Boom hoped that this aircraft will be operating regular services from London to New York, even Sydney to Los Angeles, and will come in at around 3,547 Australian one way, which one could say is about the same as a business class ticket. This affordable pricing is something Boom will pride themselves on in what they argue is a huge reason as to why their brand and aircraft will be an overall success. Now I think if I had the money I'd love to experience the Boom supersonic jet at least once, but I don't personally believe 3547 one way is cheap. As mentioned, it is the price of a business class ticket, which simply is out of reach for so many people in today's world, including myself. In the grand scheme of things, you only lose a few hours of time for that money, which ultimately I don't believe is worth it if you could just go economy for 2000 less. Boom said this is not a private jet for the ultra wealthy, and honestly that is true, and while I've just been taking shots at Boom for their pricing, realistically it is a lot better than I would have expected and what was actually quoted originally. And really for what you are getting for that price, it can be sort of justified. Think if you went business class on the American Airlines 777, you'd be spending 13 hours in the air on a flight, but for the same price, you could fly in the same type of seat, business class, but fly for only 7 hours instead. That's also a very valid argument that one could have. So let's get onto the aircraft itself, the amount of destinations, and so on. The founder of Boom said that they are projecting 2,000 aircraft will be flying around the world to over 500 destinations. 2000 is quite a high amount if you ask me. With the price of the ticket, as I mentioned, being unachievable for some, the idea of this fitting into the 737 MAX or even the A320neo category in terms of planes flying does seem a little odd considering Boom will likely only be selling tickets at that one price, 3547 Potentially, down the line, they may look to offer different variants with more cabin space, and then we may even see ticket prices go even higher. In 2018, really only two carriers have expressed their interest and or invested in Boom, and that is Virgin Atlantic and Japan's Japan Airlines. We do have two unnamed carriers which have also expressed their interest, but without any names, it's kind of hard to determine if this is, for instance, American Airlines or just a small carrier with a fleet of five in the middle of China, if you kind of get what I mean. I think if the carrier is a significant one and has an already established fleet, customer base and so on, and they've invested, then we can certainly see the demand, but at this point, I'm just unsure. Of course, to get 2,000 aircraft flying also does mean that Boom need to pass a number of environmental rules and guidelines, and with the test aircraft being pushed back, this may take time. The founder of Boom took the time to comment on the whole environmental and economic side of things and said, Supersonic jets don't need to be louder than other jets. Concorde was the 1960s technology, adding, Concorde was a gas guzzler. Since then, there has been huge progress in engine design and materials, which is also very valid. However, putting all this aside, if Boom truly do go through with this and launch the aircraft and do start selling units, they will potentially face competition from Boeing, who recently unveiled a full rendering of its hypersonic plane, which would fly at Mach 5, which is around 3,900 miles per hour, double what the Concorde could fly at full throttle. Ultimately, like I always do, I want to wish Boom the very best, and hope that they can get the aircraft over the line. I would like to ask you, if you believe Boom will succeed in having 2,000 aircraft flying to 500 destinations in the world. Personally, I can't see it now in 2018, but it's important to note we are yet to see this thing fly, or even an actual test aircraft, in the flesh. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. 
I'd like to thank you very much for 94,000 subscribers. We're only 6,000 away now from the big 100k, and I really do appreciate all your support. I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one. And we'll fly.